Okay, I'm getting ready to dehydrate some green onions. These are washed. The worst part is the prepping. We're trying to go from this to these. This was a year ago. That was the bottoms, or almost a year ago. Those are the tops. They don't make as much of a sound as the other stuff because they dry out really lightweight. Not much to them. Okay, hopefully this will come out okay. Um, I've washed the green onions. I've cut the ends off of them. And I'm getting toothpicks. And I poke it right in there. Hopefully this is coming through. There's no particular special way to do this. Mm. Don't listen to her. She's like me. She thinks she knows everything, but she does not. Just slide that on there. These bigger ones are a little bit harder to get on there, to be honest with you. But just do what you can do. And obviously keep the little roots down and just put them in here. This, put them in anything. This I decided might would work great. I tried a tiny small mason jar. This is the top of a butter dish. And then put you some water in there. Not knowing, since I bought these at the grocery store, I have no way of knowing how long they were out of water. So now what I'm going to continue doing with these, it just is time consuming. There's those. I typically cut them up using a pair of my food scissors. This will be the tops, or the, the bottoms, I mean. And the other bowl is for the tops. All right. And I'll let these, they're already rooted, but you're going to see if they're going to continue to root just a little bit. Like I said, you don't know how dry they were to begin with. And then you can plant those and have green onions all the rest of the summer, just from this. All right. I have finally got it cut up. This is the bottom part of it, down towards where the roots are. Put my little trusty cup in here. I'll do that right now and we'll see how much space is left. Uh, normally the more space you can give, the faster they dehydrate. But there again, green onions are not that thick anyway and uh, they dry pretty easily anyhow especially the tops these are the green tops now you can combine these if you want to there's no rules to this there's no big deal in fact on one tray I may combine the two um, Onions are one of the easy things to do that you don't have to process. I bought those from the store like that. And you just wash them. You don't really even have to dry them. But I let them dry for a little bit. And then you cut them up, which is the hardest part is the cutting it up. All right, here I've combined two of those. And now we just put them on the dehydrator. And the suggested time is 125 degrees, and I may do this out on the enclosed back porch simply because my dog has so many allergies. I don't want to kick his allergies up again, but there you go. That's this phase. All right, I'm going to check. These are all those green onions. Oh, yeah. Can you hear them? Crackling. 
They are dry and ready. All right, I poured all those and put them here. Yeah. They're lightweight. They are crackly. And I just pour them into my jar. I love these wide mouth canning spout things there. And that's it. And this I decided that's just using an old pickle jar. So there's my dehydrated green onions. Yeah, I forgot to do this. This won't make as much of a clinking noise as some things because that's so light and leafy. Spinach and other green type stuff won't make much of a noise either. But that's completely dry. Alright, I'm going to try to finish up now with the dehydrated green onions. They don't have a lot of noise. But <clears throat> Alright, and in one of the other videos, it was just the other day, I mean I did this only two or three days ago, and they're already starting to sprout. So, what I did was, I got me a plastic bowl that I think a breakfast, Jimmy Dean breakfast or something had come in, and I got me some really handy dandy empty toilet paper rolls and I cut them. The taller ones are cut in half. These lower ones are cut in thirds and I put some soil in there and planted them in there. I need to put one in there. But that way, see how it's already coming? And then what I will do is find a place somewhere out there to put them. That was last year. I'm a very classy person. I don't know if y'all have sensed that <laughs> this is a um fertilizer spreader or whatever spreader in fact these have already seeded i should have already done something with those but those are from last year be creative out there in a wheelbarrow i planted some flowers that we're about to die at Walmart, and I brought them here, give them a different chance. Although, these right here are some of my favorite flowers. Sorry. They're not real flower flowers. Because that way I don't have to water them. I don't have to fertilize them. So, there you go. Um, this is the good thing about these green onions. Is they literally, you buy you three or four bunches of them. For less than five dollars i've got a jar full of them and i have enough to plant to probably last me the rest of the year so now a little bit of reading before i sign off of here i'm going to read in hebrews 13 let brotherly love continue be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. I love that kind of thing. In fact, here in Matthew 25th chapter, in verse 41, the story starts a little bit earlier, and this is red letters, which means Jesus himself said, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and for his angels. 42. For I was unhungered, he was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily 
I say unto you, Inasmuch as you did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. It can't be more plain that we, especially those that claim to use the title Christian, you cannot be Christian and not care about others. We do need to take care of others, and we need to prep for ourselves, our family, and others. So, there you go. I hope uh, some of y'all, hope this helped at least somebody. I'm going to do another little short video about different methods of maybe planting and for poor people how to you don't have a greenhouse you don't have a good setup but you can grow your stuff like this and I, it's all things that i learn on youtube if it was a specific person i will give them credit if i think of any one person that really helped in this i will go on there and i will link them below love you guys take care be blessed be prepared